Hey guys, what's up? It's Narissa. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you three ways to make your store-bought frosting taste a lot better and also make it a lot easier to decorate your cake with. So let's get started. All right, guys, so this is one you definitely want to save. I want to show you three ways to step up your store-bought frosting. The first way is very simple. Just take your store-bought frosting, use an electric hand mixer, and whip it up. You want to whip it for two, three, four minutes, as long as it takes for your frosting to double in size. This is going to put some air into it and make it a little more fluffy, as well as um, make it double in size, so it's going to go a lot further for you. Now, I oftentimes like to add a little bit of powdered sugar to my store-bought frosting because I like to pipe with it. So this ensures that it's going to be thick enough and make it easier to work with. So we're gonna set that bowl of frosting aside and we're gonna start on our next frosting hack and I'm gonna show you how I use these to decorate one cake. So I'm using one jar of vanilla store-bought frosting and one jar of vanilla fluff and this is going to give us a hint of marshmallow flavored frosting while also thickening it up a bit. So I'm mixing these two ingredients together and again, I always like to add some powdered sugar to my store-bought frosting because it thickens it up a little bit and makes it a lot easier to work with. Depending on where you live and the humidity in the area that you live, you may need to add more or less powdered sugar. I added, again, about another half of a cup to my vanilla marshmallow frosting mixture here, and you may need to add a little bit more or a little less. Just use a spoon to check your consistency because store-bought frosting does tend to be a little bit runny. So now we're going to put our store-bought frosting hacks into action. So I have three layers of cake here that I have made previously and pulled out of the freezer. I made this cake using my boxed cake mix hack that I'll link above and down below. Definitely try this out. It's my most viewed video and 100% of the people that try this cake hack love it. It definitely takes your store-bought boxed cake mix up a notch. So I'm gonna use that first bowl of chocolate frosting that we made, and I'm going to use it as layers in between each of the three layers of my cake. And then once I put a thin layer of chocolate frosting in between, I'm going to frost the entire cake. Now I used two jars of the chocolate store-bought frosting and doubled that in size, and it was just the right amount in order to frost this three layer cake. In fact, I actually did have some left because I'm also going to use it as a uh, decoration on top. So I'm just using my little turntable here as well as a couple smoothing tools and also an offset spatula to try and smooth out some of the frosting. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but I am just an amateur. I'm just a normal girl that likes to, um, you know, try and make my cakes look cute without spending a ton of money and also without spending a ton of time. So I don't claim to be a professional. This is just something that I'm sharing uh, with normal people who are like me. So this is the third and final store-bought frosting hack that I have for you, but there is a bonus hack at the end, so stay tuned. Take a cup or so of that vanilla marshmallow frosting and heat it up in the microwave. Now using a container with a pour spout Drizzle it around the outside edge of your cake, creating a drizzle border. This is very popular in the cake decorating world right now, and it is so simple this way. The bonus hack I have to share with you is a decorating hack. So you're gonna take some of your chocolate frosting and your white frosting, the frosting that was not heated up in the microwave, and put it into some plastic wrap and roll it up in a log. Then take your scissors and cut off the ends of your logs and put them both into a piping bag. Now my piping bags are just some freezer bags and then a tip that I bought from Walmart. Now this is going to allow you to make some chocolate vanilla swirls that you can use to decorate the top of your cake. So I am just placing one swirl across from the other so that I can make them even. And last but not least, I'm just going to add some chocolate sprinkles to the top of the cake and this cake is done. Now, like I said, I'm not a professional. I'm just a normal person that likes to share different hacks with you, but it definitely saved me some time and saved me some money, and it's pretty cute too. 
All right, guys, so that is it. Those are the three different store-bought frosting hacks I had to share with you today. I have more videos like these on my channel, and I have a lot more to come, so definitely hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss any of my new videos. I hope that my grandma loves this cake. I think that she will. I know it's gonna taste great, and there definitely was a lot of love put into it, so I hope that she enjoys it as much as I enjoyed making it for her. As always, thank you so much for watching, and until my next video, I'll see you then. Bye.